We live in a society ruled by energy. Shipping, transportation, even our food depends on it. But this dependence has high costs. Pollution threatens to disrupt our ecosystem. The Earth is rapidly approaching a point of no return. Leave your car in the parking, or the family trip to that exotic location. Who's willing to give up the comforts of the 21st century? How many of you tried to save some battery in your cell phone today? Come on, don't be shy. And how about your house? Did you save some energy today, or this month? A problem of this magnitude needs international cooperation. And in 2015, Brazil and the European Union joined forces to find solutions. Brazil, a pioneer in the production of biomass, and with a potential to generate wind energy equivalent to 140 nuclear power plants. And the European Union, the main investor in this Latin American country, and the world leader in utilization of biogas and wind energy. The project is called HPC4E, High Performance Computing for Energy. Prolonged exposure to smoke from wood stoves causes more than two million premature deaths a year. Biogas obtained from the fermentation of biomass is an alternative, but this energy is unstable and dangerous. Improved ways of using this resource will offer a cheaper, cleaner and safer energy option for millions in developing countries. The wind force is free and produces clean energy, but wind farms generate only 3% of world energy. Predicting the behavior of the wind is the key to designing more efficient farms. Our well consumes 92 million barrels of oil per day, which is equivalent to filling over 50 Maracanã stadiums. Besides being the most widely used fuel, it's present in most products we use. Reducing this dependence will take years, but improving techniques for exploration of new wells would save millions of dollars and avoid unnecessary drilling. Brazilian and European research centers have begun their cooperation. Their best researchers will face the energy challenges through complex simulations only achievable by supercomputers of the future. Welcome to a new generation of computers, the exascale supercomputers. 100 million processors working together, capable of doing 10 to the power of 18 operations per second. Exascale supercomputers simply the future. These exaflop machines, they have enormous computational power. They will enable high resolution simulations unthinkable a few years ago. The world cannot be stopped. No one can curb our thirst for moving forward and it is time to find alternatives. The HPC 4E project brings us one step closer to energy which is cleaner, economically viable, and capable of meeting the demands of our future societies. <laughs>